and some military aircraft, Papa 8 Alpha. This is the Chinese Yun Reef. China has sovereignty of the National Islands, including Yun Reef and its adjacent waters. Leave immediately and keep far off so as to avoid any misunderstanding. I'm a sovereign of the United States naval aircraft conducting lawful military activities beyond the national airspace of any coastal state. In exercising these rights as guaranteed by international law, I am operating with due regard for the rights and duties of all states. We got a very rare look, basically an exclusive for uh, a U.S. news organization, on board this plane at China's controversial man-made islands in the South China Sea. It, it staked its claim uh, in uh, a huge body of water that other countries in the region, like Vietnam and the Philippines, have also claimed by just building these giant islands that have uh, airstrips. They've got radar domes and towers and uh, practically cities out in the middle of the sea, uh, a four and five story high concrete buildings. I saw four of these man-made islands uh, during our tour. And while we were flying, we were challenged at least six times by the Chinese military, uh, which instructed our Navy crew to leave immediately to avoid a misunderstanding. At which point the Navy crew responded with a scripted answer, arguing that this is international airspace and the Navy plane has a right to be there, just like a plane from any other government or country in the world. Uh, that said, the planes were staying about 12 nautical miles from uh, the perimeter of these man-made Chinese islands. But the sheer uh, scale of the investment that China has made in these man-made islands... Beijing has said it is necessary for the Asian powerhouse to keep growing its military presence in the South China Sea in order to protect its sovereignty. China also blames Washington and its allies for tensions in the region. It says that the regular U.S. Navy patrols and flyovers of the South China Sea are efforts for the U.S. to provoke China and therefore the country is justified in increasing its military presence. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Hua Chunying said, by playing up the so-called China's militarization in the South China Sea, certain people in the U.S. are staging a farce of a thief crying, stop thief. It is self-evident to a keener eye that who is militarizing the South China Sea, parts of the South China Sea are claimed by Vietnam, the Philippines, Taiwan, Indonesia, Malaysia and Brunei. The sea spans 3.6 million square kilometers and Beijing's claims extend more than 1,000 kilometers from its southernmost province, which is almost the entirety of the waters. Admiral Philip Davidson said in April that China is already very firmly entrenched. He said, China is now capable of controlling the South China Sea in all scenarios short of war with the United States, in response the U.S. has stepped up its military exercises as well as a way to show Washington's naval power.